Welcome to another Training by Timberlake video. Thank you for your questions. Today I'm gonna to give you the answers. Who is Chad Timberlake? Question, did I ever win the MVP? What's my position? Who's the tallest player on my team? And what's my height? I was the NEC Unanimous Player of the Year. I had to say it that way. In 2006, when I was in college, I won MVP in 2011, 2012, when I was in Hungary. That season I averaged 21 points, five rebounds, three assists. My tallest teammate, He's 207, I'm 194. In my position, I play point guard. Question, have you participated in any dunk contests? Yes, I've participated in four and I've won two. My favorite dunk contest was when I was in Israel by far, I'm trying to get the video of that ASAP. Question, where did you do your first dunk? My first dunk, not in a game, came when I was 13 years old. I still remember it like it was yesterday. After a whole summer of working out for the first time, and constantly trying, it finally happened. Next question, where did you do your first dunk? That happened when I was about 13 years old in North Carolina. I remember I got a fast break and I felt like this is my time. Went up, dunked the ball, crowd was, was yelling, everybody, my teammates were celebrating. And uh, I was so focused that I didn't pay attention to the crowd who was yelling, Timberlake, Timberlake. They were trying to get my attention. But when I finally looked over, the guy was like, do that again. And I was just sitting there like, okay, yeah. Because 13 years is all it took to do my first one. Do I play PS4? No. But when I'm at a friend's house, maybe a couple games. How many championships have I won? One in college, six as a pro. And I'm trying my best to get one more. So that way I can say I've passed MJ. Next question, when did you fall in love with basketball and when did your journey start? I have to say that my love for basketball developed because of my father. Have fun doing the game, it's no doubt about that. Down the lane, oh, oh, Hollywood slam dunk USA. Skywalker they call him, and you know why now, Paul. They call him the Skywalker. Here it comes, you take a look at this, baby. That's a dunk in any league, NBA, NCAA Division I, yes sir, thank you. <laughs> Lucky the backboard is still up there, Dick. He was a professional player and of course, watching his games and following him to the gym made me want to be just like him. And then I saw the movie, Come Fly With Me. I watched it so much that I knew it by heart and would do all of Jordan's moves in front of the TV. So my journey began when I was five. That's how old I was on my first team and I've played on a basketball team every year since then, 30 straight years. Question, what are your top five dreams? Number five, play for the Knicks. Number four, be signed by the Jordan brand. Number three, play one-on-one -on -one versus LeBron. Number two, play one-on-one -on -one versus Giannis. And number one would have to be to hang out with Michael Jordan for the whole day. Maybe play some golf, of course play some basketball, possibly visit a casino. Question, how can a player improve his IQ? I do it by watching a ton of film. It's easy to watch a game and see the highlights, but when you break it down and you try to find a player's weakness and, and see his strengths and find ways that you can take him away from his comfort zones, um, that's how you'll raise your IQ. Also to know your teammates' strengths and weaknesses and play so that you can take advantage of them and put them in the best situations possible. Fondue or raclette? Neither. I'm vegan, so I'll choose Beyond Meat Burger all day. Tastes like the real thing, cooks like the real thing. So I'm loading up on these. Next question, what made me grow my hair out? I didn't cut it, it just kind of happened. Now it's my crown. Can you lose weight just by playing basketball? And what's the fastest method to do it? Yes, you can. Basketball is a great way to lose weight. Hit workouts are perfect, and basketball, depending on the level played, can be a type of hit training. But you also need to combine this with a proper diet. Another question, how did my career begin? That happened when I was in the Czech Republic in 2006. It was a Euro Challenge team and I made second team all Europe, so it was a great way to start my career. How have you made it and what challenges have you faced? Some of the biggest challenges that I faced was dealing with surgeries. Coming back from surgery is not just about the physical part, but it's about the mental part too. The other part that was difficult was the style of play. In Europe, it's much more of a team-based style of play 
And of course, back home in New York, you grow up playing one-on-one -on -one a lot. So I definitely had to get used to that. Confidence is another thing that all professionals struggle with. The way that I overcame that was by making sure that my body was as well prepared as possible. By training and working hard every day, that's when I gained my confidence. Will you play EuroLeague in the future? I think my chances for playing EuroLeague are almost complete. But maybe coach in the future, that's a possibility. I'd like to do that. Do you know karate? I'll let the video answer this one. Can you do a windmill? Of course. Ben Fairley Dickinson in Central Connecticut State. Chad Timberlake will finish. Next question. How was it leaving the U.S. to have a career overseas? And what was the hardest part? Understanding that team play more than one-on-one -on -one is the way that teams are trying to win over here. The next hardest part is probably just dealing with being away from family, from your friends, um, everything that you're used to from back home. Next question, will I make videos while here in Monte? Yes, I'm gonna follow the team around throughout the season and track our progress. I'll try to release them monthly. I have a couple teammates on my team who are really good shooters, really good athletes, so I'll definitely do some videos involving them. Next question, what are my top five favorite countries that I've played in? Number five, Czech Republic, my rookie season. I had a lot of great experiences there. Number four, Germany. Living there was incredible and playing in the BBL against teams like Alba Berlin and Bayern Munich were memorable moments in my career. Number three, Hungary. I made a lot of friends in that country that I'm still in contact with to this day. It's also where I won my first championship. Number two, Israel. The weather was beautiful. You could have a tough workout or practice and spend the rest of the day recovering and relaxing on the beach. In my all time favorite country, Switzerland. I made a lot of friends here. I've won multiple championships, but it's also a beautiful country. Just look at it. Next question, what are my top five basketball shoes that I ever played in? I love this question because I'm definitely a sneaker fan. Um, right now I'm playing in the KDs, the Westbrooks, and my favorite so far are these LeBrons. Um, but number five for me, the Kobe Fives. This was the first low top shoe I ever played in. Number four, the Kobe 9 Elites. This was a great shoe, very comfortable for me. Number three, the Jordan 11s. Comfortable shoe, but also for me, one of the best Jordans ever made. Number two, the Kobe 6s. I got a lot of good memories in these shoes. And the number one shoe for me, shocker, it's not a Kobe or a Jordan, it's the Adi Zero Crazy Lights. Another comfortable shoe and obviously very light. And it's also the shoe I wore for my MVP season. What were my five greatest moments? I'd have to say number five, I'm gonna go with playing at MSG when I was in high school. You know, the garden, the Mecca of basketball. Being from New York, it was a great experience for me. Number four would have to be my first professional game. Um, I remember just stepping off the airplane and four hours later I had to play in my first game. So um, that memory I'll never forget. Number three was when I was in college and my team made it to the NCAA 64. Um, that's a, a dream every kid has when they grow up in America. So to fulfill that dream was big for me. Number two is winning championships. Uh, every championship was special. You know, who doesn't like winning championships? But my number one moment came when I was playing in Hungary and my father flew in to see me. I was injured though, so I wasn't supposed to play, uh, but the game was going horrible. Um, our team was doing really well that season. Uh, but at halftime, I looked at my dad and I just told him I'm playing. So in the locker room, I did a lot, a lot of stretching as quick of warm up as possible. And I jumped out there and I led my team to victory. I had one of the best games I could have had in 17 minutes. I finished with 26 points, five rebounds, two assists with a 34 ranking. Being away from family all the time is hard, but when they are there for some of the best games, it's a great feeling. Another question, who are some of the best or famous players I played with or against? Um, it's a tough one because I played against a lot of good players. I'd have to say guys like Dennis Schroeder, Randy Foy, Meta World Peace. I know him as Ron Artest though. Um, Devon Harden, Lou Williams, Andre Iguodala, Justin Leith, Dewan Wagner, Devin Harris, Brooke Lopez, Darren Williams. But for me, the best I would have to say is J.R. Smith. 
We got to play AAU basketball together. JR is a special type of player because most shooters, you don't have to worry about because they can't drive. And when we were young, JR was very athletic. I mean, he could fly, do some incredible dunks. And he has one of my favorite in-game dunks of all time. Tell me what you think about it. I'm gonna see how it's affecting Tony Parker. J.R. Smith with the time running down just took flight off George Hill. Took it in the chest, went up a couple more feet with the finish here in Denver. Next question, did I ever have an opportunity to play in the NBA? Yes, I was with the Wizards for one day and I was with the Sixers and the Nets for two months each. But one of my biggest memories has to come from when I was with the Sixers. Um, all the unsigned players and rookies have to come early, so we were there for about two weeks. And I was doing really well. And when the veterans got there, it was Reggie Evans, Andre Iguodala, um, Elton Brand. And Reggie Evans goes up to Iguodala when we were making the teams and tells him, hey, you guard him. Timberlake's been killing us all week. And I took that moment as pride and a compliment to my game because we all know Andre Iguodala as an all-time great defender. You know, you can look at the job he did against LeBron and, you know, to have a guy like that be known to say, hey, you got to guard Chad, made me feel great. Next question. If you're looking to jump higher, dunk from two feet, or get that Dennis Smith Jr. bounce, then you need consistency, dedication, and a little bit of training by Timberlake. Let's get it. TBT, that's on me. TBT, that's on me. TBT, that's with me. Welcome to another Training by Timberlake video. <laughs> that door opened as soon as I <laughs> said the word. Maybe nobody cares about who Chad Timberlake. TBT, that's on me. TBT, that's on me. TBT, that's with me.